Sage here reporting for Calcine Media. Please stay watching for the Australian Stock Market Open Report. Why is Australia's market opening down today? The ASX 200 opened marginally lower on Friday, down 7.30 points or 0.11% to 6,842.80, following yet another day of choppy trading at Wall Street. Over the last five days, the index is virtually unchanged, but it's currently 4.92% below its 52-week high. The ASX 200 closed marginally unchanged on Thursday at 6,850.10, while the broader all Ordinaries Index was down 0.164%, the ASX 200 VIX Index was up 0.034% in the opening trade. On Thursday, the S&P 500 edged up by 0.17% to 3,916.38. The Dow Jones Industrial Average shed 0.02% to 31,430.70. The NASDAQ Composite Index rose 0.38% to 14,025.77 and the Small Cap Russell 2000 dropped 0.02% to 2,281.64. Gainers and losers in the opening trade. The bottom performing stocks on ASX 200 were AMP Limited and Nearmap Limited down 11.04% and 7.30% respectively. Nanosonics was down 6.58% as well. The top performing stocks on ASX 200 were Newcrest Mining Limited and Whitehaven Coal Limited up 4.05% and 3.32% respectively. Telstra was also up 2.5%. 2% in sectoral movement. While the ASX 200 information technology was trading down 2.126%, the ASX 200 consumer staples was down 0.949%. The ASX 200 industrials was also down 0.828%. Australian dollar versus the US greenback was trading 0.40% up at 0.7754. Brent oil futures for April delivery were up 0.96% to US $60.89 and crude oil WTI futures for March delivery were up 1.19% to $57.98 US. Bitcoin traded as high as $48,622 US dollars to set a fresh record high this morning. In other newsmakers, McMahon Holdings on Friday announced that it had been awarded a four-year contract with Silver Lake Resources. Nearmap has pushed forward its half-year report from February 17th to February 15th as it is in the process um, to respond to the ac accusations made by short seller J Capital related to accounting jugglery. HUB or Hub24 is in a trading half depending an announcement in relation to an acquisition plan of Explore Wealth. Avita Medical closed down its second quarter net loss to 5.6 million US dollars from 10.5 million US last year. Baby Bunting posted a 54.7% rise in statutory net profit to 7.5 million Australian dollars. Thanks for watching. Sage here reporting for Calcine Media.